Hi, Dana. It's so nice to Hi. meet you. Happy Holiday Road. Oh, thanks. Um, so as someone who's answered a lot of questions about the Griswolds, what's the one vacation question you always get that you wish people would stop asking? Not never stop asking because everyone is an honorary Griswold when they come to the Comic-Con because everyone has their horror story. You got to hear what happened to us. It's just like the Griswolds. So it's a lot of fun that way. Well, that's very that's very nice. I like that answer. Um, now, has there ever been any talk of reuniting the original cast for one more vacation? I have my personal pitch, but I don't see it happening at this point. I mean, wouldn't it be fun for them to be like Rusty and I stick them with our young kids, like, you know, the parents and just go and take care of them and have their vacation running after little kids. And Rusty and I go to some club and be silly for you know a long weekend kind of thing. It hasn't been done yet. It's about the script. If it's a really good script, I'm sure it would be considered. But right now, nothing's been written. Now, in your pitch, where would they go? Wait, my kids with with Clark and Ellen? Or oh, would I go with Rusty? Oh, wherever. I mean, whichever, whichever one you think about. Isn't Hawaii the standard answer? I, I thought it, it has, like, it's got to be somewhere really nice to film at. That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes. you are famously Audrey number one. And I was Thank curious, you. have you ever met any of the other actresses who played Audrey? Great question. I've written a book, 40 Years on Vacation, by the way. Uh -huh. And it talks a little bit about that. Because there's Dana Hill, who I knew, wonderful woman who obviously, unfortunately, passed away. So I had met her. And then Marisol Nichols, I, re I saw recently at a con Juliet Lewis, we did, you know, one of the old Navy commercials together years ago. Oh, okay, that's awesome. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Amazing. The now, Andres. did you have any off-screen moments with Chevy Chase that you feel like mirrored your on-screen father-daughter relationship back when you guys were filming? Well, not necessarily back when we were filming, but it's all in my book. I'm pushing the book again. Um, he, you know... I was a teen wanting to eventually go to college. I went to NYU in the business department. So he wrote a recommendation for me uh, for college. And I got to go. And it, it worked, I guess. So that kind of relationship, how can you, you know, I mean, there's that I was going to answer your question. Like the number one question is like, what is Chevy Chase really like? Because I hear, blah, blah, blah. like he has been amazing to me. You know, college recommendation helped me. And he wrote a blurb for my book, recommending the book saying, Capture the Vacation Spirit. I mean, this man is wonderful, but you just have to know how to parry with him because sometimes he's very clever and very quick. Yeah. So if you're not on your game, you're just like, you're swimming I, in the water. I totally understand what you mean because I feel like I've heard horse, because I do a lot of interviews and I hear horror stories about certain people I'm going to talk to, but then I'll talk to him and I'm like, they're wonderful. I don't know what you're talking about. So I can only judge someone based off of my personal experience with them. So I completely understand. Uh, one thing before I go that I wanted to ask you about, you know, as a kid, I always thought Aunt Edna was just a crabby old lady. But rewatching the film on 4K uh, as an adult, I like I kind of felt terrible for her. Like, which of the characters do you feel like you resonate most with 40 years later? Thank you. I want to go back to her quickly. I'm going to answer that. Aunt Edna, Emma Jean Coca, she was scared she was being too mean. I don't know if this is on the uh, commentary, but she's like, you know, am I being so mean? And everyone's like, you're funny. It's good. It's good. It's okay. She didn't want to be seen as, because she was always a com com, you know, comedic legend. Mm -hmm. She was never being like a crabby old lady. So she did crabby to the best. Um, yeah, and, and you look back and go, yeah, she had to had travel with us and, and the dog killer and all. I mean, my God. So 40 years later, who do I relate to as, um, as I'm older? Mm -hmm. Myself. I mean, I'm not like Anthony Michael Hall Michael. We're very close friends, so we live very close. And Beverly is, you know, doing her own thing. And Chuck, I'm not really, I'm a Griswold because I'm just a goofball. And uh, I'm definitely not a social media expert at all. I'm pathetic on that, so... That way I'm a Griswold and I definitely have my vacation stories too.
Amazing. Well, this was amazing. I had so much fun just talking to you just now. Thank you so much for taking the time. I know you're talking to a lot of people today and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Great questions. Thank you. Thank you.